I think the biggest part of that and the reason why we were so successful is Emmy was in a position because how she played and how our defense played to make some good clears in critical situations. I mean, that was the key to the game, that the D came up with some awesome stops, and even if we had an error or two, we got the ball back again. So, I mean, it was just, um, you know, I think maybe Emmy wanted a couple more shots today. She was really <laughs> feeling it, so uh, didn't want to give it down to attack too quickly. Why were you so good today? I mean, I don't think today's game was different than any other game I've played. I just did the same exact thing I do every day, and you know, I think the difference between today and every other game was I told myself I'm playing for the seniors and I don't want to let them down and I want them to go further in this championship. So Is that kind of the sentiment playing for the seniors right now? I mean, I don't think it's playing for the seniors. I think it's playing for our program. I mean, we want to go really far in this tournament and make a name for Penn State and, uh, you know, it's a whole team win, not just for the seniors. It's great. Mm -hmm. On offense, you guys like really patient, seemed like today, waiting for the right shot. Was that part of the game plan? Um, it ended up being part of the game plan. I mean, I think we wanted to move their defense. Their defense does a really good job of stopping, um, you know, your 1v1 challenge. So we had to get the ball moving. You know, we did a great job finding Molly in the middle there to end the game and get some really great goals. Uh, Molly was our sneaky little cutter getting in there and getting open to finish out the game. But, you know, overall, we wanted to be aggressive. You know, I think. Towards the end of the game, they just did a great job of keeping tempo. We were still going to goal. They knew we could shoot, but they just did a great job of being smart with the possessions. How important? I guess, oh, okay. Okay. Right. I guess uh, seeing the men yesterday lose a four-goal halftime lead was not lost on your players today, was it? Well, I mean, I think our whole season, we've had every single um, type of game, you know, and you, learn, you use any type of game as a learning lesson. You know, I think to be in NCAAs and to hopefully compete for championships, you need to be consistent across the board. I mean, you don't, you don't go through in any round if, um, you know, you're not ready to do that. And luckily, the girls stepped it up even more in the second half. So, Molly, uh, they score three in a row, mm -hmm. and they get to within two goals, you scored the very next goal. Uh, tell me what happened on that play. Do you remember it? I mean, we were just doing what we usually do. I'm just cutting in the middle. I'm um, working hard, and fortunately, Mackenzie hit me with a great pass that first shot. And uh, you know, we're just doing what we usually do. Just trying to stay consistent. Same score thing the goal. Same thing. You did it again. Then about a minute later, same thing. Yeah, I mean, just trying to score goals. That's <laughs> it. Coach, how big were those two goals? They were huge. You know, and Molly did a great job of figuring out the, uh, their defense. You know, I think we had, we were pushing a little bit too much in from the top and running right into their pressure. And Molly started to figure out the holes that they were leaving to be open. And a credit to her for figuring that out and, and coming up with some really important goals. Call time now with uh, 10 minutes left. What do you say? Well, number one, I was trying to call it when Emmy had the ball so we could just relax her a little bit. The ball came out. And, you know, we just wanted to do the simple things well. You know, in pressure situations, we don't have to go beyond ourselves. We just have to do the simple things well. And to finish the game, you know, seeing each other, making easy passes, working together um, to finish as strong as we could. Uh, let me ask you, what was Lauren Purvis doing in this game? It looked like she was standing in front of number 11. Entire day. Yeah, I mean, number 11 was is one of their most effective attackers. You know, we wanted to disrupt their their offense a little bit. You know, it's a team we're not as familiar with. So um, in order to do that, we thought putting Lauren on her to kind of keep her out of the game or, you know, keep them thinking about how they're going to handle what we're doing was part of our game plan going in. She didn't score. Number yeah, that's, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Yeah. Maggie, you came out firing. Did you want to set a tone early? I mean, yeah, fortunately, the way our offense was running, um, I was in the right place at the right time. So Mackenzie was uh, really setting me up for with some great feeds, and my job you know, was just to finish it, put the ball in the back of the net, and fortunately I did that.